Hey, this is Alan here with Conservative News, and I just wanted to do this video to clear up an issue which young earth creationists have been promoting for some time that is absolutely misleading and completely untrue. And that is the hijacking and misrepresentation of a discovery by paleontologist Mary Schweitzer, who supposedly found soft tissue in dinosaur bones. She did not find fresh soft tissue in any dinosaur bone. In fact, no actual soft tissue has ever been found in dinosaur bones. I know you may have heard on 60 Minutes and in the mainstream media, but hold on just a second. Please don't go off to the next YouTube video. Let me explain. First of all, I'm not really interested in the age of these dinosaur bones. What I'm interested in on what these dinosaur bones were and how the sample of the soft tissue was obtained. Again, there's never been dinosaur bones cracked open and had soft tissue found inside the bones. That is not what we're dealing with here. What has been discovered and is rather startling and unexpected is that some dinosaur bones have been sliced microscopically thin and some have been ground into fine powder and then demineralized by soaking in a bath of ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid for up to two months. In this instance, some examples did exhibit microscopically soft tissue. But please understand, this so-called soft tissue, when first discovered in these bones, was as solid as the rock and minerals that were surrounding it. This so-called soft tissue had to be extracted in a laboratory setting in a painstaking process that took up to two months. It was not soft when found, and again, no soft, squishy tissue has ever been found inside a dinosaur bone. What has happened here is that young Earth creationists have hijacked this issue and been promoting this through various Facebook posts, articles, and other social media outlets. And this is absolutely not true. Several Christian ministries, such as Ken Ham's Answers in Genesis and the Institute for Creation Research and other young Earth creationist organizations, have engaged in misleading people into thinking that dinosaur bones were discovered, they were cracked open, and soft tissue came oozing out. That is absolutely the furthest thing from the truth of what was actually discovered and how these soft tissue samples were obtained. In one of the original papers by Schweitzer in 1996 on the National Academy of Sciences website, she writes, and I quote, Tissues were extracted by grinding the bone to a fine powder in sterile baked mortars and pestles and then adding various extraction buffers. And further, on her original article at the National Institute of Health, she writes, After two months of demineralization, pigmented vessels were present in some fragments. A sheath of crystalline material was present in some bone surfaces after prolonged exposure to ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid, EDTA. Again, this soft tissue had to be extracted through a painstaking process. It's not like breaking open a turkey leg at Thanksgiving and having bone marrow come oozing out. That is not what was discovered. I've included a link in the video description below to two of Mary Schweitzer's papers. Free from the bias of Answers in Genesis and surprisingly 60 Minutes and the mainstream media. Who have sensationalized and completely misrepresented this story? And again, that is in the description below this video. I'd love to discuss this issue, so please leave your comments in the comment section below this video. But please don't ask me about my thoughts on the age of these dinosaur bones that is not what I'm covering what I'm trying to do is get people to quit misrepresenting this story and to stop promoting misleading information thanks for watching and please leave your comments below